In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning to you, dear brothers and sisters. Let me bless your day with this gospel meditation. First reading for today's Holy Mass is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 1 to 10, and the gospel is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 24 to 34. What does the expression serving two masters and being anxious have in common? They both have the same root problem, being divided within oneself. The root word for anxiety literally means being of two minds. An anxious person is often tossed to and fro and paralyzed by fear, indecision and insecurity. Fear of some bad outcome cripples those afflicted with anxiety. It's also the case with someone who wants to live in two opposing kingdoms. God's kingdom of light, truth and goodness or Satan's kingdom of darkness, sin and deception. Following God's standards and way of happiness or following the world's standard of success and happiness. Who is the master in charge of your life? Our master is whatever governs our thought life, shapes our ideals and controls the desires of our heart and the values we choose to live by. We can be ruled by many different things, the love of money and possessions, the power of position and prestige the glamour of wealth and fame and the driving force of unruly passions, harmful desires and addictive cravings. Ultimately, the choice of who is our master boils down to two, God or Mammon. What is Mammon? Mammon stands for material wealth or possessions or whatever tends to control our appetite and desires. There is one master alone who has the power to set us free from slavery to sin, fear, pride and greed and a host of other hurtful desires. That master is the Lord Jesus Christ who alone can save us from all that would keep us bound up in fear and anxiety. Jesus used an illustration from the nature, the birds and the flowers to show how God provides for his creatures in the natural order of his creation. God provides ample food, water, light and heat to sustain all that lives and breathes. How much more can we who are created in the very image and likeness of God accept our Heavenly Father and Creator to sustain not only our physical bodies but our mind, heart and soul as well. God our Father is utterly reliable because it is His nature to love, heal, forgive and make whole again. Jesus admonishes His followers to put away anxiety and preoccupations with material things and instead to seek first the things of God, His kingdom and His righteousness. Anxiety robes the heart of trust in the mercy and goodness of God and His loving care for us. God knows our needs even before we ask. He gives generously to those who trust in Him. Who is your master, God or Mammon? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, free me from needless worries and help me to put my trust in You. May my first and only concern be for your glory and your kingdom of peace and righteousness. Help me to live each day and moment with the trust and gratitude for your providential care for me. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.